What's happening, Reject Nation? I was on my way to the gym, and then Olivia is on her phone, and then she tells me Scarlett Johansson's in some business with Disney at the moment. Called up John, and I said, John, when I get back all sweaty and smelly and gross, we're gonna talk about this. Guys, Scarlett Johansson is suing Disney because they haven't released the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer yet. <laughs> she is ridiculous. so upset. About she this. is the one who's this impatient. Is not a laughing matter, people. We need plot. the trailer. <laughs> and the plot leaks will continue all until we get it. the plot leaks are from Scarlett Johansson, damn it. No. Oh, she's suing Disney <laughs> over Black Widow streaming release. Now, there's a whole article over here. I mean, we caught one from CNBC. There's also, like, I think Wall Street Journal is the one who actually broke the news. But yeah, she filed a lawsuit Thursday in Los Angeles Superior Court against Disney. Los Angeles Superior Court, that's where I did jury duty. Hey, you, in a way, have done jury duty with Scarlett I Johansson. I have subconscious, so in six degree separation, six degrees. I have slept with Scarlett Johansson. You have, absolutely. <laughs> Alleging her contract was breached when the media a giant released the film on Disney Plus streaming service at the same time as its theatrical debut. I'm going to take a side note here to say like this is very interesting to me because she seemed really supportive of this movement and I and I, I imagine what's been going on is they were like, "Well, let's just wait to see how this does." And if it then it starts to if it starts to go down a little bit, then okay, let's Let's sue, you know? Yeah. That's kind of, that's kind of the vibe that <laughs> I'm getting. If this proves to be a disaster, <laughs> then we will sue. Because it had a great first opening weekend, but mm -hmm. then it really went down the second weekend a lot. Anywho, this article goes on to say, Mr. Miss Johansson said in the suit that her agreement with Disney's Marvel Entertainment guaranteed an exclusive theatrical release, and her salary was based in large part of the box office performance of the film. So, you know, like when you get points off of a movie, mm -hmm. that's usually what directors, but mainly like the stars yeah. of movies agree to, which was kind of of interesting to me because I was remembering the Wonder Woman 1984 situation mm -hmm. where Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot, I believe they were paid because they were putting it also on HBO Max and were like, look, this is kind of what we estimate what you might have made if this was just only theatrical release in the theaters. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to compensate you for that. And I didn't see anything in here declaring that that she got compensated for also putting this on the streaming service. Did you? I didn't no, see anything I mean, about that. Part of this conflict, I think, is because, you know, they said they were going to discuss, you know, changing the terms of their arrangement in terms of what she would have gleaned from the box office had it just been a theatrical release and then never followed up on that. Oh, so okay. apparently they weren't able to renegotiate the terms or offer up some kind of compensation based on the early projections pre-pandemic. Got it. Of According to the complaint, Ms. Johansson's representative sought to renegotiate her contract after learning of the dual release strategy for Black Widow, which she said is her ninth and last Marvel movie. This is definitely her last movie now. Absolutely. If there was any any hopes of her returning, I I mean, maybe Disney has all the money in the world. They could be like, sorry about earlier. Here's double what you got if they really wanted her back. But this seems like a nail in the coffin. The decision to put the movie on Disney Plus is projected to cost Ms. Johansson more than $50 million, a person familiar with the details of her contract claim. And this is the part that stood out the most to me. Disney intentionally induced Marvel's breach of the agreement without justification in order to prevent Miss Johansson from realizing the full benefit of her bargain with Marvel, the suit said. Let's read this again. Disney intentionally induced Marvel's breach of the agreement without justification. That's the part where I'm like, what do you mean without justification? <laughs> There's a pandemic going. It's still yeah. ongoing. And at the time of the decision making where every studio was kind of reactive towards the situation, the re dual release strategy made sense. And it still does kind of make sense for right now. I mean, some would really argue against us on that. However, I don't think to say without justification is accurate. Clearly this was done because of what's going on in the world right now. I don't think it was in order to prevent Scarlett Johansson, <laughs> an actress who they've worked with countless times, gave her a solo film. Like they suddenly have like a vendetta against her and they want to make too much money. Off yeah, of they want her to not that. benefit off of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't agree with that angle at, at all. I feel like a lot of this was making sense to me if she wasn't compensated for putting it also 
also on a dual release but I put it also on Disney Plus like that makes sense to me why you would be suing like that seemed to be kind of what the uh, worry was when the whole HBO Max release strategy occurred and then you started hearing a lot of the, all the directors being upset yeah. about it like oh there's gonna be some lawsuits coming their mm-hmm. way right but I don't think it's without justification I think it's I think it was justified whether you agree with it or not it was justified and order to prevent Mr. Johansson I don't agree with that either uh, I think it was just all pandemic related why would Disney, Disney would obviously have wanted this to be fully theatrical yeah. release if they could be uh, confident enough that they didn't have the pandemic thing to worry about absolutely if they said without communicate it sounds like what the true plot problem yes. is they didn't communicate and they didn't bother to you know be mm-hmm. above board in their handling of the money in the wake of a justifiable pivot exactly you know? yeah. this goes on and in March 2019 email included in the suit Marvel chief counsel Dave Galuzzi said the release would be according to a traditional theatrical model adding we understand that should the plan change we would need to discuss with you and come to an understanding as the deal is based on a series of very large box office bonuses so this email is saying that should the plans change, we should come to a renegotiation, essentially. Yeah, totally reasonable. Is it totally, of course. <laughs> Why didn't you do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it, did, did they come to a renegotiation? That's what's kind of unclear here. Yeah. And then uh, John Berlinski, Johansson's attorney, said this will surely not be the last case where Hollywood talent stands up to Disney and makes it clear that whatever the company may pretend, it has a legal obligation to honor its contracts. Now, Disney kind of has a spotty record sometimes for working with talent. I don't think there's any denying that. Talk to anyone who's ever had a Disney show. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you they have your a, a lot of control over your circumstances. <laughs> yes, it's, it's really horrible. Yeah, I mean, there's more to unpack here. There's more to uncover. Honestly, this whole thing that the main quote takeaway, Disney intentionally induced Marvel's breach of the agreement without justification or prevent Miss Johansson, all that sounds like the kind of move and strategy where you're trying to get the court of public opinion yeah, involved. Yeah, like they were being real up. conniving yeah, and they want to hurt sexist her. Sexist yeah, and all that, yeah. They yeah. want to damage her ability to work and make money. Yeah, because I mean, like from everything I've been hearing here, there are parts of this that I uh, like, uh, depending on what the whole st- uh, there's so much to unpack. So I can't fully form a side yet yeah. on which way to go. What I will say, though, because she's also a producer on this film, mm-hmm. if she indeed was not compensated for um, because at the end of the day, you're not going to make as much box office when you put it on Disney Plus as well. At the end of the day, it's just the reality of this. I know plenty of people who didn't go to the theaters. Yeah, plenty of people like we we did. <laughs> like I I ended up buying it on uh, on the premiere access because we had to do the reaction <laughs> to it. Yep. So uh, I ended up buying it myself, and I know a lot of people bought it instead of going to the theaters. And if she isn't compensated for those purchases, then yeah, I think she has a right to sue. Mm-hmm. Now the the intent of it is of why of the the purpose is the only part I'm more questionable about yeah Uh, it just sounds like there was a conversation that really should have happened that they said would happen that didn't happen and that's a bad thing yeah yeah but the question goes to you guys what are you beautiful bastards thinking (laughs) about this story (laughs) comment below let me know (laughs) Uh, leave your thoughts down below do you agree with Scarlett Johansson are you waiting to uncover more do you think she uh, do you agree with the statement of why Disney uh, breached their agreement be curious to hear what you all got to say no, this is not something where we're trying to do like rage or whatever, mm-hmm. but it is a fascinating story to uncover. And and honestly, on a very personal note, it's kind of heartbreaking just because Scarlett Johansson has been part of the MCU since the second mm-hmm. Iron Man movie. And mm-hmm. she's also I, I was really rooting for this movie. And granted, I didn't love this film. However, uh, that doesn't really matter. I, I, I always wanted her to have a solo movie. And she finally got the solo movie. And to see that only a couple weeks after the movie's finally released, after years of being delayed, that now it's ending up in a lawsuit is a real bummer. Like that's yeah. just the honest to God truth. That's it's, not it's how you want to leave. That's not yeah. the note you want your legacy to go out on. Yeah, that that part really bums me out. Um, but anyway, leave your thoughts down below, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Mm-hmm.